Hey there, Derek here from Pacific Coast Auto in Japan. This is an FD RX7 from 1995 uh, that was bought from auction here in Japan for export to the USA under the 25 year rule. This one's actually quite a bit more interesting than your regular RX7. I got a couple of things I got to, well, a whole bunch of things I got to say about it. But for now, uh, I just want to mention it's a 60,000 kilometer car. It's a Type R version. It's painted in Montegro Blue Pearl. Kind of a rare color. It's a color shift paint. It's a blue paint with a green clear coat with metallic particles as well as gold in it. Now it looks way cooler when the sun shines on it. The sun went <laughs> behind the clouds right as I'm shooting this. Anyway, more on that in a second. Twin rotor engine, twin turbo, sequential turbos, one small, one big. And the more I see these, the more I fall in love with them, absolutely. Our FC is in the shop right now, finally. I can't wait to give it a drive in the mountains. I'm loving RX-7 so much. As time goes on, I love them more. 60,000 kilometers makes this really low mileage. Engine condition is good. Oil, coolant, both look to be fine. No signs of any rust inside. And as you can see, it is an original Blue Pearl. Montegro Blue Pearl. Okay, gonna close the hood here. If we can, that's alloy hood or aluminum hood. Okay, quick look at what the car looks like. And of course, I put the headlights up because retractable headlights are my life. But not really, but I do like them a lot. And this is one of the final cars. These were made until 2002 here in Japan. So one of the final cars to get the retractable headlights. So I'm gonna quickly turn the engine off here. No troubles with starting this one when it's cold or warm. It has something really cool in the trunk. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. I wanna give an ARC-7 a rev like that just in case. So it doesn't flood itself. But uh, uh, headlights, this one here dances a lot. It was super funny. I turned it on, put the headlights down, and it just went up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I turned the car off and took the key out. It's still going up, down, up, down, up, down. It wasn't until I went to restart the car that it uh, decided to stay in the up position. So that's gonna have to be looked at. Okay, let's have a look at the auction inspection sheet here. So this is the information given to us from the auction. It's a 1995 RX-7 Type R, auction grade 3.5 with an interior C. Alloy wheels, power steering, power windows. 59,530 kilometers with five speed manual, purchased from user. They called it dark green, but the color code here is 2A. I got something to say about that in a second. Purchased from user, and the report here says uh, seat has wear and wrinkles. Now they don't mention it, they didn't circle it. It actually has leather seats in it, which are fairly rare, and I like them better than the cloth seats, which is rare for me because I usually don't like leather seats as much. These ones are pretty nice to have. Uh, the driver's, driver's side door has a cover part that is broken and piece missing. I'll show you that when we get inside. Dashboard comes up and one part cracked. So the, it, it actually comes up near the vent piece here. Uh, the cracked section is in that area. Nothing that you can see while you're inside the car. Console is peeling, rear panel dented, various scratches and dents, uh, uneven paint and paint wave, which is really a shame for such a rare paint color, but the repaint looks to be pretty good in my opinion. There's just one section, and I do want to get this in a video, one section that I thought was uh, not very good is this section here. It looks like the bumper got backed into and then repaired. You can kind of see that line there. Okay, what else we got? And so repainted hood, repainted both doors, repainted trunk and roof. Here you can take a look. And it's a bubble roof, so it sticks up a little bit above the driver and passenger. That's why it kind of uh, looks like that. And then show you the side panels here. And so when it's sunny, this paint pops a lot. You can see a lot of the greenish gold pearl. It looks really good. Back in, well, this paint came out in 92, I think, or 93. And uh, color shift paint at that time was a very new thing. And I believe that this paint was only available on special versions of the car. And I think this is our third one that we've ever exported. Okay, so here's the thing about the paint. 
this Montegro blue pearl paint could come in two versions. It came in a uh, high, um, high reflection version and a regular version, and they have two different paint codes for it. What I found online was that the high reflection version stopped in 93 because it was too expensive for, Nisa, or for uh, Mazda to make, and then it just wasn't enough of a benefit for the extra cost. But this one has the paint code for the high reflection version, which is a thicker paint, less likely to get scratched, and has a, uh, a richer color to it. Now it has been repainted, so some of that benefit is going to be lost, but it does make me wonder if in Japan they kept it, whereas in the rest of the world or the US, they maybe ditched that. It is interesting to think of. Now here's another interesting thing, and I'll just show you the paint code. I think it's the regular, hmm, you can kind of see some of the green there. Uh, maybe not. It's something that shows up better in real life than it will in the camera. All right. Okay, so in here we got this, 2A, ah, can you see that? 2A is the high gloss version. Also take a look at this, RX-7 Special Edition. I don't know what special edition this is. The auction seller didn't think it was a special edition, so that's interesting. Maybe the paint, maybe the interior seats, and maybe the cool audio sound system in the back, which I'll show you in a sec. Also, optional hard suspension, which might be Bilstein, because I know that the Miatas of this generation got Bilstein suspension. Let's have a quick look. Eh, probably not. Bilstein always has yellow for the shocks. Original wheels, scratched up a little bit. Tires are 10 years old. Oh, they gotta go. Okay, so uh, damage-wise, barely any. Front bumper has a little bit of like a, like a puck marks. It has been repainted. It looks like rock chips in the front have been repainted. It comes with the original fog lights there. Of course, the retractable headlights. Come down here along the side with me. So as you can see, the body is in exceptional condition. Rear wing is good. Yeah, and Mike feels the same way. Mike in the office is like, man, I need to get me an R7. We are considering keeping our FC, but probably won't. Okay, so here's the broken piece. There's also a rip in this. Original steering wheel has very little wear on it. Also these leather seats. Very little wear on these, as you can see. This always breaks. This one's broken and the one on the other side. It holds the seat belt in there so you can grab the seat belt easily as you can see it. Otherwise it will fall down behind like that. This one has your standard back seats. And I think it's the same back seat whether you have the leather seats in the front or not. Okay, steering wheel good. I'll just quickly sit in here. Wanna watch the headlight do dancing? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> if you drive like that, it's like it's uh, winking to you. Winking to everybody. And this is the kind of car that uh, can get you the attention that you want without winking at people. So this piece here is broken. Also, it has these pieces here from a cup holder that used to be mounted. This is original Bose sound inside. Very cool. Shifting is good. Engine running condition is good. Here's the peeling on the console. And interior of the FD is cheap. I don't like it. Also, this comes up like that. It's cracked at the front. Take it off and repaint it. Into the back. Missing floor mats. Okay, this is only the second one I've ever seen with this option. You gotta check it out. It's Bose Acoustic Wave Music System. And so it has the speakers here, 
but the speaker goes through this system which I guess puts a something into the sound I'm not too sure and so I really don't know what it does but it's very cool that it has that option now the other one that I had didn't have a liner in here this one here has what looks like the original liner in the back but if you look down here it has the proper cutaways in this board for the acoustic sound package so it is an original item for the car it's not bolted in if you want to get the spare tire out you have to take this out which looks to be pretty annoying if you're going to be taking the spare tire out and there might be a different liner that fits this better i really wouldn't know about that but i don't know it says bows on the top here I love unique little options. And when it takes up this much of your trunk space, it's gonna become a conversation piece for everybody that wants to put something in the back of your car. What is this? Wow, you have cool acoustic wave system. And you can be like, wow, it sounds so awesome. And then if it doesn't sound awesome, just tell them that it sounds awesome and then say, oh, I don't feel like listening to music right now. Sorry. Okay, so basically uh, nothing else to say about it. Condition is good, has a few things that I, I didn't point out in here, minor scratches and things like that, but uh, as a whole I'm pretty happy with it. I like how they did a good job on the repaint, this color looks killer, it has a stock suspension and wheels. I think that we got a good deal on this one. Okay, so that's that, if you have any questions please let me know, but otherwise thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.